the sum to infinity of a geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers where each term is found by multiplying the previous term by a set amount, which we call the common ratio. For example, the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, etc. begins with 2 and multiplies by 2 each time. This second sequence begins with 6 and multiplies by 5 each time. It can be shown that the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence, which we call Sn, can be found using the formula Sn equals a times 1 minus r to the power of n, all divided by 1 minus r, where a is the first term and r is the common ratio. Check out my video on summing geometric sequences to find out how this is derived. If we have a common ratio between minus 1 and 1, then our terms will get closer and closer to 0, as in the two sequences here. Whereas with our previous sequences, our Sn will get bigger and bigger as n increases, for these sequences with r between minus 1 and 1, the decrease in terms means that Sn will tend towards a limit. To find this limit, we can use our Sn formula. Remember, this is only going to work for r between minus 1 and 1. Our sum to infinity, which we're going to write as s infinity, is the limit as n tends towards infinity of the formula a times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. But as n tends towards infinity, r to the n tends towards 0, because multiplying by a number between minus 1 and 1 each time decreases the magnitude of the answer. So if r to the power of n is tending towards 0, then our bracket 1 minus r to the n must tend towards 1, and so sum to infinity equals a over 1 minus r. Let's try this out on the sequence 1, a half, a quarter, an eighth, etc. We have our formula, sum to infinity equals a over 1 minus r, and we can see that in this sequence a equals 1, and r equals a half. Therefore, the sum to infinity equals 1 over 1 minus a half, which equals 2. In other words, if we did the sum 1 plus a half plus a quarter plus an eighth and so on, we will tend towards a limit of 2. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.